Hey guys, what's up? This is me, so I'm going to touch you at Use the comps to send Pete. And uh, today I have my HP NV um, 4, 4504 um, right here. And it's a, a wireless printer with uh, scanning capabilities. And um, and it uh, it's it's pretty, it worked pretty well. Um, I don't think it was, it's fairly inexpensive. I believe it was like $40 or something like that. So um, basically uh, what it, its main features it can do is it can print, it can scan, it can copy, and it can also, I believe, print a photo. Um, I've used it one time to uh, to send some documents over uh, email, um, which the scanner works great and trends bringing those into PDFs onto a computer. Um, this printer can be com completely wireless. I have it connected to my Wi-Fi network. Is what I just did right there, as you can see. Um, and it wirelessly was able to transmit the uh, scan of the documents over to my computer and then I just opened it up in the HP portal which came with the CD software that you could either install via the CD that came with it or um, an on or you could download online off their website and uh, it appeared there and I was able to send off um, some signed document the image of some signed documents so it worked very well um, but um, right now I uh, just reconnected it to my internet um, as you guys can see here, it was a really easy process. All I had to do was um, was uh, open up the network connections, click on my network, um, and then just use the arrows and the OK button to select my uh, my PIN number to connect to my network. Um, and if you don't have any security on your network, then you won't even have to do that. So uh, I just did that probably a minute ago, and now it's telling me to click OK. So I'm just going to click OK. Continue, and as you guys can see here, I am currently connected to my wireless network. So now I have my Nexus 7 over here, and I'm trying to print out some uh, documents. So I'm just going to refresh this page, and hopefully it'll show up. And uh, doesn't appear to be showing up for some reason. Um, yeah, let me just uh, let me just try something real quick. Going to on um, the going to the view settings um actually i'm just gonna go off uh, camera for a while and just try to figure this out and uh, hopefully i can get everything uh set up so i'll get back to you guys one minute okay guys so i was able to drill into a few settings um and found out i uninstalled the app and reinstalled it and uh it popped up in my notification area um this is the ap hp um wireless printing app uh, or the printer plugin app on the Play Store. So I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. And um, it popped up in my notification um, about um, the wireless printing and if, if I wanted to give this application permission to uh, print from my device. So I uh, clicked it, swiped it down, and clicked on it, and it opened up the settings page. I believe it's a wireless printing settings page. And I just had to flip the uh, this button from it was on off it was off like this so I just flipped it to the on setting and it's gonna ask me do I want to use it and I just clicked OK and now it's gonna search for my printers and as you guys can see this is a 54 or excuse me a 4504 um, and it's a 4500 series so I'm just gonna click on that printer or actually I believe it's already maybe it's already installed um, so as you guys can see now I have both cloud print and HP print um, accepted so now I'm going to go back into Chrome and it's asking me to add a printer um, and it's not finding it but the reason why it's not finding it is because it's using the cloud service and I would rather it use the HP service um, I'm guessing Google's cloud service is new so it's not compatible with a lot of devices or something's not not working right but um, this is as I said an HP device so um, I just installed the HP service and a lot of different manufacturers have their service services on the Play Store including Canon um, HP and other um, but most of the big makers will have um, their service there so I'm just gonna click on that and now it's uh, it should be sent to uh, send it to my computer so now I'm just looking at a few documents here um, and I'm just going to click uh, print to my HP. I'm just going to click on that and to refresh it and 
I just need one copy. Uh, let me change that to black and white instead of color. So you just go up into the settings, you just click on that and you click black and white. Um, a range shows you how many uh, uh, pages. I only need the fourth and the fifth page. Um, not all five pages. Um, it has a bunch of different um, options in terms of size of uh, paper, paper size, especially if you're having it saved as a PDF. But um, in, in terms of printer, you still have quite a few options. Um, range, range of five, or it could have you print all five. Um, like I said, it's a range uh, four to five as opposed to all five of them. I only want one copy, and you can change the orientation from portrait to landscape if you'd like to. So now I'm just going to draw the keyboard out and click this print button. And hopefully we're on our way here. So as you guys can see here, it says now printing. Um, that was very quick, probably what, one, two seconds, something like that. And it just sucked up a piece of paper. And hopefully we're getting into printing now. It says now printing. And again, remember that my computer my computer is not plugged into anything other than power. Um, my Nexus 7 is not plugged into anything except for, uh, it's not plugged into anything actually. It's just all over Wi Fi. Um, I don't have the fastest network. I have 15 megabits up, excuse me, 50 megabits down, 1 megabit up. And, um,. And I also have a 802.11n is the highest network speed that I have capable. I don't have AC. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it looks like it's printing pretty fine. Um, it's a little bit slow. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, you know, try to butter it up. Uh, honestly, it is printing a little bit slow. But for the fact that I could be all the way on the other side of my house and just see something that I needed, print it out, and then come back a minute later and everything be printed like this. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. I'm happy about that. So, uh, that was the first page. Um, and then the second page. So that started about three seconds ago, I'd say. And uh, I'll tell you guys how long it'll take to print. You guys can see it's printing that right now. And actually, I need one more log printed, so I'm going to just go scroll over to the other page. And I'm going to set this one up to print as well. And to print, you just uh, click the little drop-down arrow, men uh, the menu buttons on Android, and then you just click print right here. And then it'll open that up, and it already has the HP as a default now for printing. So um, it's sending that to the printer. And... Um, Letter, I just have to uh, deselect the ones that I don't want real quick. And I'm just going to do that real quick. And uh, here we go. So it took about 45 seconds per print. Um, completely wireless again. And this is off the mobile site. Um, so it might be a little bit better if it wasn't even on a mobile site. But um, as you guys can see here, it worked, it worked good. Um, an update is available to my printer. I'm just going to perform the update real quick um, and click yes. And hopefully it won't take that long. Uh, maybe it'll increase the quality. Who knows? So I'm just going to pause the video real quick and get this uh, other page set up and uh, come back to you guys. Okay, so I completed the update. It probably took about, I'd say, not, not long at all. Five, maybe ten, maybe in, in between five and ten minutes. Um... So hopefully uh, it'll increase the quality, but um, I mean, even still, the um, the things I had printed out here, I'll just show you some of it right now. Um, it does look like, as you guys can see here, the bottom of this uh, number is cut off a little bit. Um, it seems a little hit or miss. Um, it's not the best quality right now um, that I'm that I'm seeing, but hopefully it'll increase. So I'm just gonna click on this other uh, print. I've already got everything set up, black and white and everything. Um, so it's sending that to the device right now. And like I said, this this is kind of awkward because it's not a uh, it's not being sent from a desktop. It's being sent from a mobile device on a mobile website. Um, it's being sent from, like I said, a mobile device and it's a mobile website and it's completely done wirelessly, no wires. So um, just just to, just to have the capability of doing this is pretty good. Um, but just to have the capability of doing this is pretty, pretty good, but, um, 
but like I said, the quality isn't the best. Um, definitely, a, from what I'm seeing here, uh, looks like if you would actually want, um, again, I haven't seen the results from this update, but um, from what I just saw from this, um, it's looking like if you actually want to have a good print job done, um, I would recommend just going on your desktop and printing it there. But uh, if you have something quick that you just wanted to be printed off your tablet or your device and you don't really care about the quality, you just kind of want a hand copy of it um, or something to post up, um, then like I was, like I was saying, I would, uh, this just doesn't seem like a too too bad of a service. And actually, the update does look like it um, looks like it uh, helped out the um, helped out the print job here, as you guys can see. Um, all the text actually looks a lot more legible compared to uh, or compared to the two right here. Um, as you guys can see here, it's a kind of night and day difference almost. Um, it's actually looking pretty good. Again, not as good as I would say if you were to just have gotten it off of a uh, printer, or excuse me, your desktop and just printed uh, the website. But um, it still looks pretty good. And like I'm saying, this is off of a mobile device. Um, so if I scroll this down, um, it also shows. It'll also show in my. Um, in my uh, settings here that or excuse me, my notifications that I am making a print and if I click on this um, I believe it'll give me a little bit of a, a status on what's going here it tells me the website I was on again I'm printing out I'm printing out my T-Mobile uh, my T-Mobile um, call patterns and uh, it's showing me there and um, as you guys can see here, it's it's looking like the update actually did did make this a lot better. Um, not really too much faster, but um, but the quality is a lot better than those previous two prints were. Um, so again, you guys can see it's showing me here a status of what's of it's still printing. So like if you were in another room and you weren't right next to the printer, um, this would be very helpful to know that you're when when to come pick up your documents um so this should be done soon um like i said the update or excuse me the prints aren't the fastest or the highest quality but um they're pretty decent um i would probably have to give this like an 8 out of 10 or something um from the update before it was probably a 5 out of 10 before i just updated it and like i said it was like a five minute update that uh the system prompted itself so this should, I'm assuming, disappear or uh, something. Okay, it disappeared from my notifications. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it should probably disappear from the print job soon, maybe. Oh, I don't know if it goes away or not, but it did disappear from my notifications. And my screen is back to the home screen on my printer. So uh, I have all my documents up here. Um, this is all wirelessly printed, and it appears to have worked very, very well, especially after the update. So um, if you have one of these series, the 4500 series, um, I recommend actually printing out a test copy, and then uh, hopefully your printer will prompt you to update the software, and that should actually increase the uh, the clarity and the quality of the prints. So. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys would like to do that, that probably should help you out. So we, we both learned something here. Um, so anyways, yeah, guys, um, this is me, Sean from TechDoodos.com, YouTube.com, so and Pete, and this is a how-to of how to uh, print wirelessly from um, an Android device. And This happens to be my Nexus 7 tablet, but I know it works with a bunch of devices, including uh, the uh, S, S4 and up uh, Galaxy series devices to a uh, HP wireless printer. In this case, it's the HP Envy uh, 4504 uh, printer. But anyways, guys, um, this is me, Sean, from TechDroid.webs.com and YouTube.com, so send Pete. Please favorite, uh, like, and subscribe if you guys like the video. And if you guys didn't, or if you guys do, leave comments in the uh, captions below. So hopefully um, I'll be able to read them and improve on um, areas that you guys think I need to improve on or will uh, give me feedback and tell me what you guys like about my videos. Um, anyways, guys, uh, have a nice day, please. And uh, hopefully this, guys, this helped you guys out. Thank you. Goodbye.